Well, hey there. Long time no see. I'm Thomas. I'm Patrick. And we are here uh, because we know that you missed us and we know that you missed our uh, selling sunset videos. Boy, are you in for luck. Boy, are, are you, you in for luck. Mm. 2023. 20. Oof. Off to a good start. Yep, yep, yep. You are in for a treat. Yep. There we go. You should call me a little rusty because that's what we are. A little rusty. We are super excited to be back. Thanks for joining us once again. Um, before we launch into this week's video, as always, if you like real estate, I do. You live in the Pacific Northwest. I do. And maybe you just want to know where to get a decent cup of coffee. I really do. Well, click that subscribe button down below for more great content just like this. All right, so uh, Patrick, <laughs> where did we leave off last season? Well, let's see. Uh, it's been a full year since we recorded <laughs> oh. a Selling Sunset video. Okay. Um, so what I'm gonna say is there was some drama. There's some drama, for sure. Uh, there were some great looking houses. It was the proposal episode, is what happened. The hockey boyfriend. Moist, moistenite. 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 Yeah. Uh, and people were not excited. They were not stoked about this engagement. And then something about a, the party got crashed by some uh, weird drama. There was some drama, some crashing. Mm -hmm. I, I think, I don't think there was any crashing in this episode. I think it was just that there was some beef that was had at the birthday. It was a birthday party. Ooh, there it is, birthday it party. It was a birthday party. Anyways, mm -hmm. um, so we're gonna um, move on along to season one, episode eight. So it's season finale. Season finale. So it's uh, drama is promise. Yeah, so sure. uh, season one, episode eight. The gloves come off. The gloves come off. Let's dive in. This is perfect. Our agents have been so successful this year. Right? This successful. is our best year ever. Yeah. Michelle just closed Queens and everyone's been kicking ass. Yeah. So we wanted to throw a cocktail party to sell it. There's Hi. 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 My Where's your imaginary boyfriend? My girlfriend's not here, so... You don't have a girlfriend, yeah, first of all. Oh. <laughs> it's a real will-they-won't-they, they, isn't it? Are they gonna end up together? Who knows? Who knows? I don't have enough time invested in this show to really know the dynamics here. Mm -hmm. But it seems... seems flirty. Yeah. It seems like they deserve each other. A little spicy. Well, I want to tell you, like, good job on points, like, cheers, girl. Thank you! We just close points. Yeah, no, that's awesome. Mm. I mean, it's beginner's luck, but you know. It's Come on. Oh, there was a lot of work involved. Yeah. First rodeo. It's not my first, or second, or third, but it is my biggest. So. Yeah. So good, good job. Thanks. Yeah. Ugh. You know, um, I totally get it that you know, as a professional, it's it's easy to feel threatened, especially when there's someone newer, younger prettier, smarter, uh, all, all of the things, all of the things um, coming in and stepping in on your business. But, you know, from my perspective, real estate has always been the industry that, you know, there's, there's room enough for everyone to participate. Um, you see people that like working with me may not want to work with you and vice versa. Right. Um, so I don't get the uh, competitive attitude of, you know, I'm, I'm the best and you're just a baby. And then, you know, they hold you like a little baby and they pet you. Well, if you don't like girls that are stronger than you, don't like girls that are smarter than you. Can we just talk about the dog doing the scoot? I didn't see the scoot. The dog did the scoot? Okay. Or get rid of my realtor? I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, we can talk about that. Doug is a great client. We've done three or four deals, uh, and all of them have been significant, so I... You know what's moving faster than Doug's house? 
that dog scooting along the oh, carpet. Oh no! <laughs> okay, six months. No offers, not even one. Well, we're also <laughs> listed high. We're also in true sales states. My blood, my blood's up to here right now. Sorry. I, I understand it's frustrating. The house has been on longer than both of us anticipated. But it doesn't have city views. And it's no fault of yours, it just doesn't have city views. And that's what people are paying that type of money for if we're trying to get over $2,000 a square foot. This shit drives me absolutely crazy. I love all the clients. But if I tell you, point blank, hey, uh, here are the comps. Here's the value of your home based on these comps. Here are the uh, better qualities than some of these properties. Here are the slightly worse qualities than other ones. Here's where I think your price should be. And you say, you know what? I think I want this price instead. We can list at that price, certainly, um, but I'm going to actively tell you not to do that. Yep. And if you choose not to do that and you come back with that attitude at me, no ma'am. No ma'am. I mean, that's part of what we do, right? We give you the information mm -hmm. and then we give you our expertise on the market. Yeah. What's gonna sell, how quickly, what's realistic, and you make the decision. Hockey boyfriend. Salad boy. Alright, so then this is what I was thinking. I think this is so pretty. I love this dress. Do you like that? No. You seem like bored. Ooh. We like we couldn't have run for that space bar any faster. Can you imagine if I came to you with a list of things? to talk about the wedding, like destination, yeah. where it's gonna be, what mm -hmm. we're gonna wear. Can you imagine saying that and just being like, whatever you want, and like that being okay? I don't think he cares. I don't think he's overly concerned about what happens. I think he just wants to have a good time. No, I mean, I mean, it's my, it's a girlfriend. Oh. But it's your wedding. Yeah, but it's a girlfriend. Excuse me? <laughs> huh, how dare you, sir? How dare you? How very dare you. Romaine, you will be hearing from our attorneys. Got a strongly worded email ready to go. You know, dress, flower, I mean, I like it. Okay. But it's more something you should, I mean, no? I'm gonna ask Jason or Brett which flower I should get. He's got a mouthful of marbles. Jason picks out all the stuff in his house. But it's a, it's a, it's a decoration. Uh, yeah, decoration for, and this is a decoration for our wedding. Yeah, but it's a girl stuff. A wedding, right? What? This is gonna be a great wedding. Yeah, proof of funds. Important. Uh, cash buyers, when you are buying a house, you will need to provide proof of funds. Um, on a luxury property like this, it's not uncommon, especially for folks who are concerned about potential for theft um, or any kind of- Or just wasted weird, time. Yeah, we wasted time. But those, those types of, I mean, I would say more so luxury properties because of the fact that they don't want to let a bunch of people through their house um are going to want to see proof of funds up front or pre-approval but in cases of proof of funds you know it's basically a bank statement with some redacted info that's going to show yes i have the money in my bank to be able to purchase this property Oh my god, I love it. I actually got a cake for 
all of you guys and it's gonna be a, a sex Gender review. Gender review. Ah! No sex review. That's a sad character. Look at the way that you cut it. Not even, not to the center. Not it's even just, centered and then it just flops like that. I mean, I know you're not gonna eat it, but at least try. Yeah, try no, to cut it like you, a person. You know nobody's having a piece of that cake. Detail oriented? I don't think so. She cuts it like a slumlord. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So, you know, some of the girls were saying they felt like kind of a little bit of tension in the office between us. I don't know. Do you feel like there's tension? We all do. I'm not going to lie. Yes. That's a big I do question. feel like yeah. there's you know the answer. a little tension. Yeah. Um, I mean, my assumption is that you just don't like me. <laughs> I don't know. That's not true. I mean, I don't know you. So how okay. could I just not like you? But it... I That response is always so fake mm. uh i don't know you so how could i hate you mm. no you hate i it. hate a lot of people i don't know <laughs> we were having a conversation a private conversation yeah and i was asking you questions and then you turned it around to mary and made it sound like i was talking bad about her and just now you said that i was and i wasn't i was asking questions in a private situation because okay. i didn't know mm -hmm. so i was thinking it was a cool but to like ask you privately, I don't like two-faced people. And I'm not saying you are two-faced, but it's going that direction. And I was like, oh wow, wow. you were saying. Also, what a flex to be like, I'm not calling you two-faced, but you are going down the two-faced road. Right. Like what? That's like, you either are two-faced or you aren't two-faced. There's no, no, there's no in-between. Just own your criticism. No betwixt. It just is or it isn't. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because all I know is you're at the happy hour and I asked what the situation was about. And I asked you, you said, I don't remember. I said, what did you guys talk about? I'm so confused. It own up to what you say. Do you have like dementia? I don't know. Like own up to what you say is, that's where I'm coming from. We haven't gone on a house tour this mm -hmm. whole episode. We saw a couple. We saw the unfinished house that we've seen all season. Maybe they'll show us one now. Could be a good one. Could be all the houses. Here we go. Look at that. Twins. Like we all have to go oh. see houses really fast. Every right now. Come on, one. Take the apology. I know it was extremely strong. It would take a lot more than Christine to bully me out of a good situation that I've worked really hard to get to. At the top of the billboard. Oh my God. That's another one in the books. That for sure. That's how they're ending that season. That sure was an ending. Out of 10 high heels, how would you rank the drama on this episode? You know, honestly, the drama was lacking for mm -hmm. me. Uh, I feel like for a season finale, it should have been built up more. Mm -hmm. Four high heels. Four high heels. I would agree. Four mm -hmm. high heels. Yeah. Real estate. We didn't take any clients out on tour. Uh -huh. We didn't sell anything. Mm -hmm. We had a great conversation. Well, we had a conversation with the seller uh, and a conversation with the developer. So out of, out of, uh, then uh, beach balls. Oh yeah. Um, I would say, I was talking to the cat. <laughs> Only the cat understood that part. <laughs> Six beach balls. There were some good lessons, but not enough house focus mm -hmm. or, mm -hmm. or business focus, honestly. Yeah, it's a bit of a stinker for me. I'm yeah. gonna say three. Oh, dang. Three beach balls. Well, first of all, there wasn't, there were like spe sound bites of real estate, like implications that real estate happens. 
But yeah, overall, um, uh, it seemed very like drama focused, and even that was lacking. Mm -hmm. So hopefully, the next episode will yield better fruit. It has to. Better beach balls. I hope this year yields better beach balls and fewer off-putting braids. Mm. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming back. We've missed you. We hope you've missed yeah. us. I, I know I missed him. We haven't seen each other for a year. It's been a minute. We only see each other during this show, so. But we'd love to hear from you. What was your favorite part of the episode? Whose team are you on? Are you Team Chriselle or Team Christine? Let us know in the comments. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye.